Hello, child of God. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Christians in Rome and said, Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. And Jesus said, If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Many Bible scholars believe he was speaking regarding the law that the Roman soldiers could force a person to carry his armor for a mile. But the point he was making is that the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ have a different attitude than non-Christians. During my enlistment in the Navy, the USA was overwhelmingly winning the war in Vietnam, especially after the Navy dropped mines into the harbors and the ports of North Vietnam to block the resupply from Russia and from China. However, the USA totally lost the Vietnam War in Washington, D.C., as the political powers surrendered in order to get votes and win elections. The military personnel in my day were treated like the enemy and called murderers of children. America hated the uniformed soldier. Vietnam was a very unpopular war politically. Even after the war, the POWs were deserted and abandoned, and many could have been recovered and returned to their families. America turned its back and left behind thousands of the Vietnamese American children of the soldiers to be murdered along with the South Vietnamese soldiers that were friends and fought beside the American soldiers. They were murdered by the North Vietnamese communists. During this time, Hollywood copied this theme and turned this theme into the Rambo movies, Made Millions. After the war, obtaining health care for veterans outside of the military was like going back into a war zone with the anger and the closed doors, the hostilities, bitterness, disappointment, disillusion, depression, and drug addictions became the norm for many of the vets. And there are many Vietnam veterans today still fighting the war in Vietnam in their minds. And just like the civilian government in the military, there are some very good and some very evil people that you just could not leave alone with your child. And no matter whatever rank or uniform they wore, or just how smart or evil they were, we were held to one logical conclusion. We salute the uniform, and not the man. And this is the same logic that I present to you for the Veterans Day. As a man, I do not need to be saluted. Neither do the dead soldiers, or the dead veterans. But active duty members of the armed services and some of the veterans could really use your help. With a grateful heart and a smile, just say, thanks for your service. Veterans don't need a pity party every year. Just salute the uniform regardless of the man, and you will be rendering honor where honor is due. Each year we set aside Veterans Day to honor all the men and women who served our country in uniform. We celebrate veterans from generations past. We welcome a new generation of veterans home from the war. And we thank our future veterans, still serving at home and abroad. They are securing our nation through their engagement across the globe. Some are in West Africa, contributing to the global effort to stop the spread of Ebola. Some are in the Middle East, working closely with our coalition partners in the fight against ISIL. And some are in Afghanistan, where next month the United States will responsibly end the longest war in our history. For our troops serving around the world today, and those transitioning out of the military, our obligations are only beginning. Taking care of them and their families is a sacred responsibility we must always uphold. Let's celebrate them by telling their stories. Let's help those who need it while supporting their strength and resilience. And let's honor our veterans by creating new opportunities for them to contribute after their service so they can continue making a difference in the world. To all our veterans, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for our country. You're among the best our nation has to offer. God bless you and your families, and happy Veterans Day.